So I'm actually <laughs> stand out here, but I, I feel a little uncomfortable back here where I can't see the whole room. So I'm going to try to move around a little bit. Talking to you a little bit about organization, I learned, first of all, organization needs will be very dependent upon the level and maturity developed, maybe more educated than they need to be, certainly doesn't hurt. A lot of um, work to drive economies of scale. Um, people who can earn credibility um, do more than is expected. Those kinds of things are, are what you secure at that level. And then as your organization moves forward and you bring more things into your group, the requirements change a bit. So from a lessons learned standpoint as of operation, um, certainly the technical requirements today, even 10, 15 years ago when we were all installing our ERP systems are much different than they were when most of these people were hired to do AP, AR, or even IT. If you're, you have to actually step back and look at what are, what are the competencies required in this role and then write them down, research them, post the jobs, not necessarily a popular thing to do, um, but start from scratch. And it actually works for the organization and you, you, you really have to earn the trust. Going to shared services, it's an opportunity to really rethink the way that, uh, the, way that the positions are work in the department and how they interact with each other. And that may be because of technology, that may be because uh, you have an opportunity to consolidate and build skill sets within your shared service department that just wouldn't be possible in a decentralized environment. And this would apply as well if you already have one, that maybe you have an opportunity to look at where could we build a skill set. For example, one thing that in the accounts payable environment I found is completely impractical in a decentralized environment is to have somebody who's a tax expert to make sure that we're in compliance with the tax policies, whether it be sales and use tax or unclaimed property, all very complicated issues uh, that most AP departments just can't support having somebody who's an expert at. You get to a shared service operation, you have a whole different aspect of scale, and then you can be looking at what are the problems we need to solve, and how can we we'll hire people who are going to be able to uh, have the skill set, the knowledge, or experience in order to address this problem directly. You rethink the positions uh, and the skill sets behind those positions. What I would add to that is one of my objectives um, early on was, first of all, we could take all the finance people out of the locations, out of the decentralized areas. You bring them all into one um, headquarters kind of environment or shared service environment. You really um, limit the career potential, say, for plant managers and that kind of thing. So I, I really had um, a challenge to develop what we, we eventually dubbed the farm team for finance. So we recruited, in the end, as your, your organization grows and your responsibilities grow, we actually recruited as the farm team for finance, which was a little different. When I went to work for the company, we everyone in finance started an internal audit and did their service, so to speak, their travel time, and then moved into different finance um, organizations throughout the company. But we actually moved.